What's up, guys? This is Gabriel Canero here, and we have been talking about unit tests for Python. And when we finish creating our test file, and then we uh, type Python, um, and the, the the file we are we created for the test, we get this information here. We have, we know that we have six tests, and they all ran okay. But eventually, we are working on a bigger project. There is a lot of files. And we want to make sure that everything has been tested correctly. So we need a better uh, way to see it, right? So to test it, to get more information, we need to install a package called Coverage. So to install it, we need to type uh, pip install coverage. And once we do that, we need to create a, the coverage file. Type in uh, Python dash M coverage run and then the name of the, the testing the file we're, to, uh, we're going to, to run. And then it will create the coverage file here. And then we need to create a report so we can see what has been tested. Python dash M coverage report. So now it's going to show a table with all the files. The number of statements, the statements that, that have been missed, so that have not been tested, and the, the percentage of what has been tested. So we have in this case 100% that of the code have been tested. So let me uh, comment one test here and see how it works when we create the coverage file again. So now you can see that the we have one statement that had been missed, and um, the, the percentage dropped from 100% to 95%, right? So it shows um, how much of, the, of it have been tested. So let's take a look of a, a project with more files than that. And let's, again, create the, the coverage file. So python-m uh, coverage run. In this case, that we are getting more files, we need to use the dash M. Since it's, uh, it's the unit test we are using here, uh, we need to use unit test, discover, and then the, the folder where the tests are. So, okay, so it has, been, uh, it has created the coverage file here. Now let's get a report. Coverage report. So now you can see a bigger table with more uh, files here and everything that have been uh, tested, right? In this case, we have 469 statements, 11 have been missed, and the coverage um, uh, average is 98%. Sure that we do not have to test 100% of the project most of the time. Depending on the policy of the company, we just need to test 80%, 70%. It really depends on the, on the, on the company's policy for that. Uh, but you can get a better view of that if you use the HTML option. So if we type Python dash M coverage and then type HTML, it's going to create a folder with the index HTML. So let me open it so we can see how it looks like. So here they are, all the, all the files, including the tests. Uh, so let's uh, take a look at this file input inputs here so we can see. It's gonna show uh, a little report. We have 29 statements in this file. So 26 ran okay. But we are missing three uh, uh, statements that have not been tested. So in this case, you can see that uh, the this part of the if uh, have been uh, tested, but the else has not been tested for all the three functions. So it's really interesting, it, and it shows us what need uh, what have been uh, tested or not. So we can go ahead and create a new test and cover everything that we are looking for. Right. So I uh, hope you enjoy and see you in the next video.